Hello, Cancers. Hello to all of the Cancers out there, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is your reading for the first week of September. Hello to all of the Cancers out there. Welcome to Visions of Light and Love. Again, this is your reading for the first week of September. Hope you all enjoyed the weekend as well as the holiday. I, for one, have been busy with my new little puppy. <sighs> learning new things, learning him, he's learning me. We're trying to get adapted to each other. We are, but it's like a, a new baby. It's a lot. <laughs> he's teething. And he's so little, little, and cute. So, Cancers, if you are a returning viewer, I welcome you back. If this is your first time visiting this channel, um, um, if you just want to be supportive or you like my energy, I ask that you subscribe and hit the notification bell as well. So that you're notified when I post new material, new readings or material. Sometimes I may um, do different things. But, uh, yeah. So, I am going to shut up and begin your reading. Spirit, what is... Excuse my nails. They look a mess. I will be going to the nullery sometime this week. What's the overall energy or the current energy for the sign of cancer. Okay. We have the judgment card. Some of you could be dealing with um, a Scorpio or have a Scorpio in your environment or Scorpio in your chart. Why is the judgment card here for the sign of cancer? Okay. All right. So we have the Prince of Pentacles in the reverse. We have the Ace of Cups in the reverse for your past energy. Someone could have turned their back on love. Maybe you, your partner. Don't know. Look like someone walked away from something. You want to see my little doggy? Let me show him real quick. Say hi, Max. Hello. Hello. He's like, leave me the hell alone. I'm sorry, Stinky. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt you while you were resting. Okay. So, why is the Ace of Cups here for the sign of cancer? Some of you could be dealing with a Pisces, too, or have Pisces in your chart because... For whatever reason, I was about to say Pisces. Okay. So, we have the King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles. The Empress card is here. Libra's energy. Someone could be dealing with a Libra. We have the Two of Pentacles. We have the Temperance card. Sagittarius energy is here. We have the Seven of Wands. We have the Ace of Swords. And what is your outcome? What is the outcome for the sign of Cancer? What is the outcome? What a sign of cancer. That's too many cards. Some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn as well. Or if someone is has some toxic is around some toxicity or toxic energy or something. Uh, what is the outcome for the sign of cancer? There we go. All right. 
and we have the Ace of Pentacles and the Reverse. Have a lot of cards in the Reverse. All right, so Cancer, starting out, you have the Judgment card. Card. So some of you, I feel like with the Judgment card, um, someone may want to restart something. And they could be using, you or your person may want to start something. We start a relationship, start something over with this judgment card, revolve a situation. Maybe after um, someone, someone could have been being, having um, immature behavior or they weren't like grounded or something. And now they want to come back and renew or restart a situation in love because in the past there wasn't a new beginning you weren't having it cancer that's your energy i feel like you wanted stability or you want stability and something long term a husband or long term boyfriend or whatever and maybe this person wasn't seeing eye to eye with you or they weren't um, at that stage at that point in time in your life. And you um you didn't give them a, you didn't give them a new beginning in love. Or you didn't start a new beginning in love with this person. So I feel like right now they're coming back in to revive or to restart something. Yeah, with the Empress card. They want to nurture the situation. Libra energy. Balance things out. Yeah, this person is coming back to balance things out with you. After some um, clear thought. This person was acting, but someone was behaving immaturely in the past. And now they want to come in to balance out the uh, situation and nurture it. Yeah, because look at this. The temperance, balance, do things in moderation. Take how you feel into consideration because you turned your back on them and you stopped giving them love. So with the seven of wands, I feel like you guarded yourself against this person. I feel like you guarded yourself against this person because the situation wasn't going as you planned, as you wanted it to. And you said, no, I, I, I'm running this. You're not treating me right. So I'm not going to give you the love that you want because you're not treating me right. You gave it. You spoke some truth to this person. And this is what sparked them to want to come back and to renew things with you. Because you gave them some truth. But your outcome is the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. So I feel like this person is going to come back. But they're still not coming back wanting a commitment. So this person at this time may just want to have fun with you. They may, they, I feel like they just want to have fun at this time. Or they may be starting off slow. Yeah, they could be coming in starting off slow because they don't really know what to expect. They don't know if you are going to um, walk away or they don't know how to take you now since you stopped giving them the love that they, that they want and desire. So they are losing faith in their abilities. And this could have been an issue of timing. Maybe they didn't have t the time that you required. So they um, they couldn't commit like you wanted them to. And they walked away. So I feel like... Oh, shoot. I feel like that part of the reading is clear. I'm sorry. I have to pick these cards up. So I am going to pull your partner's energy. And let's see what's on their mind. <clears throat> I 
I hate when the cars, their energy could actually be all over the place. Now that I think about it, the way the cars fell. I just want to make sure they're, um, okay. All right. So let's see what's going on with your partner's, your partner's energy. One, two more. Two. Three. Spirit, what is the energy of Cancer's partner? Okay. The Ten of Wands. So this person, this person feels like they have been working hard on this relationship. But I feel like from this card, they feel like they're not getting anywhere with you. They're trying their best to balance things out with you. But it's like they're in a no-win situation. So they're tired. They feel, they're, they are feeling overwhelmed. Why is the um, Ten of Wands here for Cancer's partner? Someone is feeling overwhelmed. Is your, your partner is feeling overwhelmed with the ace of chalices which represents the um the ace of cups this person wants a new beginning in love with you but look at him he looks like it's this cup is hard like you could be giving him a hard time cancer you could be giving him a hard time like this person wants he's trying to have a new beginning in love but you you could this <clears throat> maybe you're not ready you may not be ready for for uh, to open up to him in that way yet again why is the eight the ace of chalice is here for this for cancer's partner because they're trying but you're like no not yet. Why is the Ace of Chalices here for Cancer's partner? Okay. Okay. So you have the Nine of Pentacles. Some of you could be working on yourself at this time. Because whatever happened between you and this person when they um, were unable to or they were acting immaturely and couldn't give you what you want, that hurt you and it caused you to feel like you're going to take a step back. So you could be working on yourself right now. With the King of Cups being here, this person... So I feel like your person thinks that you're focusing on you, focusing on your finances. And this person wants to give you love. They want to make love to you. Could be a Leo with the sun card being here. But I feel like you guys are not on the same page. I feel like you're not on the same page. Um, if you sleep with this person, I feel like you are not having sex because <clears throat> it looks like here he's trying to, but she's not having it. She doesn't want it. Here he's trying to carry this cup of love, but it's too heavy of a burden for him to carry. She's not even paying him any mind at all. Here, she's alone in the bed. Here, this is what he wants. And then here, they're together, but they're not together. 
And again, look, she looks like she's yelling at him. So someone, this is the ten of chalices. So this could be um, a long-term commitment, a marriage. But look, nothing. Nothing. So we have the judgment card again. So I feel like, <clears throat> again, your partner wants to revive or renew a situation. I feel like your partner could be sleeping around, creeping around with other people. But it's being done in secrecy. Yeah, it's being done in, in secrecy. Because if you look, these all these people look dirty. They don't even look clean. So let's see what the outcome is. What is the outcome? What is the outcome? What a sign of cancer and her partner. Or his partner. What is the outcome? I was looking at the, the women. Okay, here we go. Look. Someone is alone. Someone is heartbroken. Left out in the cold on the other side of the door. Someone shut things down. Okay. Shut it down. The, the high priestess used their intuition. To walk away from something that was causing them a heartbreak. Could have been a long-term commitment with someone, a past life lover, someone they were in a relationship for a long time or something from child, their childhood. Because someone had too many options. So I'm going to leave it at that, Cancer. This is your reading for the first week of September. If this reading resonates, share, like, subscribe, comment below as well. Be safe out there. I'm sending you love, light, peace, and healing energy. And um, enjoy the rest of this week. I will see you next time. Bye.